Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this episode I show you some new tricks on brushes with the latest update of Photoshop. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, my name is Serge Ramilly, I'm a French photographer living in the beautiful, the amazing, the incroyable city of Paris, France. And I make two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the raw file of this episode and all of the past episodes. And click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In last week's episode, I showed you how to play around with actions and make details in your photo explode. This week, I'm going to show you a new option for graded filters, a gradual circle in Photoshop. It only works for right now in Camera Raw, but it's something that came out, I believe, with the release in April of the new Photoshop version. And it's a really cool trip for people doing landscape or urban photography because you can do graded filter much better than before. And also, I'll show you a new trick with a perspective tool to change perspective in your photo. So let's get started. All right, so before we get started, if you want to get the raw files for free uh, of this file that you see here, a beautiful photo of the Alexander III Bridge in Paris. Well, beautiful. There's a few things wrong with that photo, but I kind of like the mood. All you have to do is jump over to my website, photosearch.com, click here on News, sign up, and then you're just going to sign up for my newsletter and you will get a lot of newsletters from me with a lot of promotions, a lot of bundles, a lot of free stuff. And this will give you a link to a page where you will get this raw file. Okay, so here I am in Photoshop uh, CC. I'm using version, let me see here. I'm on version um, blah, 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 2014 1.0 release, okay? Uh, it's important because what I'm about to show you is really like part of the latest release in Photoshop. So I have a file here and it's actually a raw file that I open as a smart object I, uh, because I'm using Lightroom. So I, I clicked on Lightroom open as a smart object. What it does is that here you have the untouched raw file. And if you double click on it, it's going to launch Adobe um, Camera Raw. What I'm about to show you is uh, um, Camera Raw only. It's not yet in Lightroom. I believe it's going to be in Lightroom very soon, but I think it's a really cool feature because it's something I struggle a lot with when I do a landscape retouching. It has something to do with the graded filter and I'm going to show this to you right now. So first, let's do some uh, minimum retouching. Uh, this photo was shot with a 17 millimeter, so very wide angle and unfortunately I had to tilt up the, you know, the lens to get everything. So everything is a bit crooked, you know, this is this way, this is this way. And I'll show you another option in Photoshop to, to fix that. But first, let's start off and do some magic in uh, Camera Raw. So I'm going to put up the shadows and I'm going to bring down the highlights. Well, that was really hard. Then I'm going to do my white point, so Alt, white point. Okay, remember you have to hold, hold on the Option key or the Alt key until everything is black, until you see some white. Now, I don't care and when you see little white points, it means that these pixels are 100% white, which is fine for this lamps here. And I'm going to do my black point. Okay, this is a photo I took years ago. I think I would have done it different today, but I kind of like the feeling because the sky was amazing. And when you got an amazing light and an amazing subject, like one of the most beautiful bridge of Paris, uh, you know, it, it, it always makes an interesting photo. Unfortunately, I think I focused on this. And so some of it is out of focus. You know, there's a lot of things wrong with this photo, but that's not my point. My point is you will see in a minute. Okay, so let's look at the white balance. We have daylight, which I kind of like. It makes it a bit warmer than what I shot it with. I shot, I think I was very blue. And then we have, um, so we have daylight, which is a bit warmer. We have cloudy, which is a bit warmer. And we have shade, which is even warmer. So you know what, I'm gonna go for daylight and maybe just add a little touch of magenta and, and, and yeah, and just warm it up a little bit. That's it, I like that. Now I'm gonna make the overall photo a bit brighter because I think it's a bit dark, but now I wanna do something about the sky, okay? Uh, first, let's see if we can do something about, uh, about the distortion here. So we're gonna go in this module, we're gonna go to profile, we're gonna enable the lens profile, check it out before, after. It does a lot of things, but what it does a lot is taking out the vignette effect, right? Okay, and then let's go to remove chromatic aberration in case there is any little chromatic aberration around the, the edges of the photo. 
and then the magic the magic is a third tab upright let's click on auto and what auto auto is supposed to deal with most of lens distortion it does a pretty good job it does a pretty good job this is still a bit like ooh, you know but it's it's really not bad actually kind of like that so i'm going to leave it uh this way i'm going to go back here on the main tab and now here comes my point here comes the new things i want to make the top of the uh of the sky darker so i'm going to use the graded filter i'm going to make it a bit more blue and a bit darker okay i'm going to make a filter and you see it's pretty cool the only problem is that it made this darker also i only want the sky to be darker now there is a new option that just came out a few weeks ago and i didn't see that first i, I read it in a magazine and it's this option you see here there's a new option called brush and it says modify selected adjustment using brush plus and minus and what it does is that it's going to minus out you see i have a graded filter making everything dark and i can minus out this out of my selection so that i only have the sky which is dark and not this so the way to do that is make sure you're on auto mask that's very important and make sure you have the minus brush selected and all you do is brush and as you brush mesdames et messieurs you're taking out the graded filter effect you're just taking it out uh, and you're not doing it on this isn't that amazing now if you want to see what you're doing and make sure you don't miss anything you can click here on on the mask so you can see the overlay color uh, by default it's white i put it uh, red because i think it's more visible and then you can paint and basically as you paint you're taking the red off the problem is that when you have auto mask on uh it, it's it's a bit slower it's more precise because it's not going to spill over you know all you have to make sure is that your what you're painting uh is really in that cross in the middle of that brush that's very important okay and then but the problem so what I would do is when you do the age, uh, leave auto mask on like this. Okay. And as soon as you are off the age, like you're not in the edge, but you're, you're in the middle, take it off and keep on brushing. This way you are sure that you get a, a much better result, but check this out the result. And that's something it's, I think it's a really cool option. I hope they put it in Lightroom. I'm going to take this out. Now look at this. If I do before the adjustments, before, after, see only the sky gets darker and not this beautiful uh, statue, this beautiful, uh, whatever that's called, but beautiful, you know, look at this, only that gets darker. That was the main trick I wanted to show you because that's, that's a revolution, my friend. That is really cool. I mean, you could do it before, you know, you had to go into a brush, but then you had to get the exact density to minus it out. So, you know, I could, you know, before what I would do, I had a graded filter and then I would brighten it up. But the problem when you brighten it up, it's not the same value as it doesn't always fit. This way, you are just erasing the graded filter on this. And then this is really clever. I really love that. And that's simple option. Okay. Now that's not all. Uh, let's continue with this um, photo. I'm going to take here. I'm going to put a little radial filter here. Okay. I'm going to put a radial filter where the sun was and on this radio filter i'm actually going to not boost the exposure i'm not going to touch exposure but i'm going to warm things up a little bit i want to make things a bit you know a bit yeah a bit a bit warmer so we have a better contrast between the top which is very blue and where the sun was okay maybe not so much magenta but a bit more yellow okay now if you think the effect is too much here well, same thing. They have this brush option where you can minus out the radial filter. Check this out. Now I'm painting with a minus brush over, uh, I have auto mask off. And so the sunset, which I have here in that circle is not influencing the bridge as before. Now, isn't that cool? This is completely new. And I think this is very clever. I've been waiting for this for a long time and finally it came. Now check it out before the radial circle. See how it only affects the sun and not this. So you also have this option for the radio filter. So you just, you can really get graded filters and radio filters, which are really, you know, uh, tailor made. I can, I'm going to select this back. I'm going to add some more saturation just in that circle. I just want to make it a little nice. So we, now we have a good contrast in the sky. So basically, um, I'm done. I'm going to go to the, um, sharpening. I'm going to go to 100% 
because you know you always need to do some little sharpen and noise reduction before you you leave the photo you see here i'm sharp and here i'm a bit blurry because i focused on this and i was not uh I guess I was like at, uh, yeah, I was at F5. I should have been at F13. What I was thinking, I was a young photographer at the time. But anyway, it's still a nice photo. So, because uh, if I would have been at F13 or F16, not only everything would have been sharp, but the, the light here would have been a lot more starlight fashion. So anyway, so just so you know. So I'm gonna put like, um, uh, I think noise reduction, I'm gonna go like 10. And so I'm gonna put a sharpening of 90. And then I'm gonna, now you see how the sky is very grainy now, if, you have a, if you're watching this on an HD video, then I'm gonna pull on the Alt key and use the masking tool to take out the effect of the sharpening of the sky. Okay, so I'm happy now, be, before sharpening, after sharpening. I don't think you can tell much on the video, but anyway. Okay, I can tell here. So now I'm just gonna open it as a Pro Photo RGB 16-bit, that's fine. I'm just gonna click on OK. And it's just going to update the smart object with what I've done. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to do new smart object via copy. That's basically going to duplicate the smart object and I'm going to right click and I'm going to uh, rasterize layer. So this is not a smart object anymore. It's just a, a regular file. Okay, so I'm going to show you a new tool, which is really cool. So you go to edit and you go to the perspective warp tool. Okay, so when you click on it, it makes a grid. This grid, I'm gonna align it to the perspective of this uh, pillar here. So I'm gonna take this as an example. This point, uh, this point, maybe I'm gonna follow this, and this, and this. Yeah, something like that, make this a bit higher. So I'm, I'm trying to find out what the perspective here. And then I'm gonna make this a little bigger, this a little bit bigger, this a bigger and this a bit lower, like this, making sure I'm, I'm, I kind of follow the same. You don't have to be very precise, it's, but you know, I have, I'm in that perspective plan. Then I'm gonna make another one here for the bridge. And uh, I'm gonna follow the bridge uh, perspective, which is, uh, I'm gonna use this like this, yes. And uh, this is kind of cool, I'm gonna use this and let's see here what happens if I'm following the bridge a little bit. Yes, you have to f somehow follow. So I'm following this and following the bridge. Okay, and then I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to glue this. But first, I'm following this perspective, making it higher, higher, and I'm gonna glue this to this. Voila. Okay, so I just made another grid, and now I'm. Uh, I'm gonna make this a bit bigger and a bit bigger. I'm just trying to get the perspective of the photo, make this maybe a little bit, bit bigger and this a little bit bigger. All right. Okay, now check this out. I'm gonna press enter. And now if I move that point, check this out. I'm just moving this and I'm gonna make this, I wanna make this a bit more straight. Move maybe this a little up and something I can move this around Voila. Okay. And you know, you can just play around like clay, like your photo is like clay and get the perspective like you want. Okay. It, it takes a bit of training to do, but I really advise you to check it out. I'm gonna press enter. And now it's gonna process this. Now check this out, before, after. You see how it's, this is more straight, this is more straight. Now I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna crop the photo. So I'm gonna take the crop tool. I'm gonna to crop this. I think I'm gonna crop maybe, oh, not that much here. Maybe a little bit here. Now I have a problem with that because I would like to get this uh, thing here. So um, I think I'm gonna crop right. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna crop around here. And then I'm gonna create matter. Uh, I'm gonna create matter on this. So let me show you before, after. So it's just, you know, it's more natural. Okay, and to create matter here, so I'm gonna take this out. It's a trick I show very often in videos. I'm gonna take the magic wand tool, click here, go to filter, and uh, then I'm gonna go to select, modify, I'm gonna expand my selection of about 10 pixels, that's a good uh, idea. 
and then I'm going to go into uh, image, sorry, into edit, fill, content aware. Now this is not going to do everything, but it helps. Check it out before, after. It filled in with uh, some very creative process. And now I have to cheat to make it real. So, um, well, maybe, uh, you know, well, I, I would spend probably another half an hour on this photo to make it real, but I can make that boat uh, seems a bit bigger, something like this, you know. And then uh, the water, I can just take some water here and put it there. Now this, now it duplicated a little bit this. So I think I'm gonna use the pen tool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the pen tool to make a little selection here. Of, of this, voila, so I have a selection with the pen tool. Right click, uh, make selection pass, one pixel, okay. Now if you if you don't know at all what I'm doing, uh, check out my Photoshop for Photographer courses. I'll, I'll explain you all these techniques and I'm gonna take my stem tool again. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some of the sky which I'm gonna, oops, paste here. And the fact that I have an active selection, it's gonna protect, oh my God. Okay, I'm not doing this right. Okay, I have to maybe to take this guy here. Oh, you know what? I could take some of this guy here. Just put it there maybe. See what happens. Okay, well, it made, then it looks weird here. So then you have to take this tool, the patch tool. Anyways, I don't want to go for hours on this because uh, sometimes it does take hours. Depends on how the tools are resulting. But you get the idea. I would do a cleaner job there, but it already looks better, you know, or maybe take some of these trees that I would put there. That was not the purpose of this video. I just didn't want to finish on something not finished. But anyway, check it out. That's the final, that's the final, that was before, after. Now everything is straight and we have, uh, you know, these pillars are not too dark. Anyway, some cool new features in Photoshop to make your her urban landscape to a new level. All right, guys, back to me. All right, guys, I hope you like this. It's uh, Photoshop really always amazes me. And I hope this is going to come to Lightroom very soon. Well, thank you very much for being there. And if you like this episode, please share it to the world. Facebook, Twitter, T-shirts, your grandmother, whatever you want. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in another episode. Au revoir.